Hello viewers of this video and welcome back to the Redstone Innovation channel. As per the popular demand, we have a brand new 3x3 door. This one is particularly awesome because 1. It works in 1.5, 2. It's ridiculously compact, it's only 126 blocks in volume, and 3. It is lightning fast. So without further ado, let's just show it in action. It looks a bit like that. Oh. Yes, Moz is not included in this design, I'm sorry. So, let's just close this thing up. And, wait, where'd he go? Uh, oh well. Um, yeah, so it looks a bit like that. Uh, right. Um, so for this design, we're gonna need 43 blocks, 18 pieces of redstone, uh, two repeaters, three torches, two redstone blocks, one comparator, 13 sticky pistons, one hopper, one dropper, and two levers. Um, one lever will be for the clo uh, for the input, and then the other one will be um, to turn that piece of redstone. So it really doesn't matter what it is, just something to turn that redstone. So let's get started with the tutorial. Uh, right, so we're going to go ahead and place our double extender. Uh, just two stack pistons on top of the ground like that. Oh, there he is. <laughs> then you're going to come out two on the side and place a sticky piston facing inwards. That's for your storage. And then one final sticky piston uh, for the closing circuit. Uh, give that piston a block there, and then you're going to place your input block right here and put redstone on top. Go ahead and place a lever on that, like so. Uh, from that redstone, <laughs> uh, that redstone is going to be inverting a torch there, up into a block and into a torch there. And that's actually your entire closing and first block retraction, like so. So it's closed, and then you open it up, and that's your first block retraction. For the double extender, uh, we're going to go ahead and do this. So you're going to have a signal from that torch there going into redstone there. You're going to have that block power a dropper right there, and then place a hopper right there. Now, to avoid this redstone from blocking that hopper, what we're going to do is we're going to turn that redstone, and I'm just going to do it like that. You can use a tripwire hook, a button, you can even place detector rail there or something like that. doesn't really matter what you do. Uh, we're going to take an output from that, actually, no, you won't get an output until you place a block into the dropper, any block, just one block, um, into the dropper there. And then you're going to take an output uh, from a comparator uh, right here from the output of the hopper. That's going to go into a block and power that bottom piston. It's also going to go ahead and bud this piston here and power it. Uh, place a redstone block in front of that piston and then on top of that redstone block place a piston with a redstone block in front. Now at this point uh, we're going to go ahead and start with the double extender. So when this redstone block is here it's going to power redstone right there. Uh, that will lead over into redstone there and then finally into a repeater going back into the input. Uh, that's for the last retraction. Then you're going to send that redstone signal up and then up once again over that redstone block over and then into a block right there. And actually that's your entire double extender done. So go ahead and try it out. It's closed. Then you open it up and it looks a bit like that. Uh, right, so now we're just going to go ahead and fill in the remaining pistons and we're going to power them from this torch here. There's three stack pistons on the side here. Uh, block on top of that torch there with redstone on top. Lead that redstone up and over that side piston there. Now at this point you have a few options. You can either lead a, a repeater going into a piston here or you can go ahead and lead redstone in it directly. Uh, that will avoid the top piston from having any bit of delay but uh, with a repeater will make it a bit shorter. I'm going to lead that redstone going over into the last three sticky pistons which will be right here. Um, lead that redstone going over that piston there. I'll lead it down there and then down once again to power that middle piston. And that will also power the bottom piston. And now go ahead and try it out. As you can see it's closed and it's open. Go ahead and fill in all of your blocks and you should be good to go. I'm just filling all these in. Whoops. 
And there you go. Alright, so this has been the Redstone Innovation Channel. Hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, we thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to check out our past stuff, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that cool stuff, and we'll see you guys next time. Um, actually, as an additional note, go ahead and make sure to check out our Twitter and Facebook pages, follow us on Twitch, and also our logo slash intro competition is still in effect. It is until April 17th, so please get those in as soon as possible because it's ending soon. You have only six days left. All right, I'll see you guys next time.